and gentlemen. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general. Good morning, generals, and welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. All right, generals, I hope you took some time yesterday to get caught up in all of your classes. I know your teachers left you some amazing lessons during your digital learning day. You will have another one of those days this semester, so please make sure that you're taking advantage of the time. It is not time for you to stay at home and just relax, but hopefully you took advantage of the time and really got caught up on your work. So again, welcome back, and I hope that was a great day for you. Seniors, as you know, I like to start the announcements off with recognizing you guys and keeping you abreast of the things that's going on. Want to give a special shout out to Mr. Nathan Solomon. If you have not heard, he won the GCPS Boys Cross Country Championship. What a big deal. We have not had someone to win that since I think in the 1980s. So that is a huge accomplishment. And from what Nathan says, he wants more students to get involved and definitely involved in cross country. So a special shout out to you, Nathan, for that accomplishment and putting Shiloh High School on the map. Seniors, if you have not heard, on this Friday, it will be a home game for us and it will be the first senior tailgate. If you are interested in participating, please make sure you go to My Payments Plus so that you can get your tickets. You also need to get tickets for the game and tickets for the meals that you will have. So again, this is kicking off the senior tailgate and all of your activities. Looking forward to seeing all of you at the game on Friday. Don't forget seniors to let your parents know that there will be a parent meeting on September 30th. This is a very, very important meeting and for all of the students, your parents will have this very exact meeting when you become seniors. On September 30th, your parents are gonna hear where you are right now in preparation for graduation. That's right, we are already talking about graduation. We do not want them to miss out on this important, important meeting. And students, you can attend this meeting as well. It will be virtual, so again, on September 30th, there will be a parent meeting. We know that you guys are looking forward to getting ready for college and your careers. So on September 23rd, Shiloh High School will be the school in the district that will be hosting the Probe College Fair. What does that mean? That means that colleges from, colleges from across the states, from the U.S. all over, will be here to talk about how you can get into their colleges and university. So on September 23rd, do not miss out on the Probe College Fair. Anytime you're going to college, guess what you need? You need money. You need money, either you can get it through scholarships, and if you guys have not noticed, when you walk in through the E-Hall building, going to the kiosk, we have a new amazing board where we are gonna start posting the great things that you are doing. In particular, where are you going? Are you going into the military? Are you going into college? Every time you let us know where you're going and it's verified, we're gonna put your name up there so that everyone can see the great things that you will be doing post high school. For those of you that are interested in getting money, you need to make sure that you are paying attention to the information from the Career Counseling Office. Dr. Aisha Stevens will be hosting some FAFSA events and you need to make sure that you are completing your FAFSA. You can get money no matter what your situation is. You're not going to know that though unless you complete the information. So students, please make sure you listen out for that. And then on this Friday, it is that time to start ordering all of your senior stuff, your caps and gowns. So this Friday, Scholastic Images will be in the comments during the lunchtime. So be prepared to start ordering your caps and gowns. We cannot wait to start rolling and preparing for graduation. Want to once again congratulate our Teacher of the Year finalists. A special congratulations to Dr. Tomlin, Ms. Sheila Jones, and Ms. Jennifer Jeffers. Those ladies are right now in the throes of voting, so we cannot wait to announce that winner, which will take place this week. Students, we want to let you know of a great opportunity that is going on here, and that is about restorative circles. If you find yourself having some issues and some concerns with some friends of yours, sometimes all you need is a mediation to talk it through. We know sometimes social media can make things a lot worse than what they need to be, and then you get to school, and now you're mad at each other. We don't want that to be the case. We want you to actually talk it out face to face. So we do offer restorative circles here at Shiloh High School. If you are interested, you can check with Dr. Frazier and he can let you know how to set up one of those restorative circles. Students, homecoming is on the way. I've had several of you asking about tickets. Tickets are on sale right now. Homecoming is on October 1st. The tickets will go up after this Friday, so if you're interested in getting that first round of tickets, you better make sure you go to My Payments Plus and get your tickets for homecoming. After that, the price does go up. And we want to send a special congratulations to all of the ladies and gentlemen that have made it onto our homecoming court. 
We will have voting for them to take place very soon, so congratulations. If you want to see who those individuals are, please make sure you check out the scrolling announcement and you'll see all of the uh, students who have been named for the homecoming court from ninth grade all the way up through our seniors. We have plenty of clubs that are here at Shiloh High School. Not sure which ones you want to participate in? Just check in with your teachers or again, check the scrolling announcements and you can check the website. There you can find all of the different clubs that are happening here at Shiloh High School. Because we are back in person, the clubs are meeting in person. So I'm always excited to see our beta students, our IB students, all of our students that are meeting after school, all of our CTSOs. And I'm looking forward to the great work that you're going to do and the things that you're going to represent as well in. Moving on to sports, please make sure you continue to support all of our student athletes because our student athletes are students first, athletes next. We have going on JV Volleyball on Thursday against Brookmar, and then we also have JV Football taking place at Parkview on Thursday as well. Our softball ladies will be playing Buford here at home on, to on, on tomorrow, and Friday we will have our home game against South Gwinnett. So please make sure you come out and support all of our generals. As you know, today is Wednesday and I must give you a few words of wisdom. This one I think is so appropriate right now. It's one of my favorite words of wisdom and it's something that I feel like our students, you guys really need to hear and you really need to listen to. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Again, your attitude will determine your altitude. The attitude that you bring into situations is going to determine how far and how high you're going to go. When you're in situations and you bring the right attitude, you're gonna find that people are going to be more willing to work with you and be more willing to listen to the things that you have to say. When your attitude is not right, the situation is normally not going to be right. So if you wanna get far and you wanna get high, make sure you check your attitude and make sure that it is right so that your altitude will continue to raise. All right, generals, uh, let's make sure we continue to focus on our mission, which is to relentlessly pursue high level teaching and learning with a global perspective for all students and staff. And make sure you take pride in being a general. Make sure that you are prepared, respectful, show integrity, be disciplined and engage in all that you do. And don't you forget, it is always a great day to be a general. I love you and I love Shiloh. Generals, salute. Stay relentless.